points A and B are taken. Now, for example, if I write in a general perspective, A star B is equal to B star A for every A comma B belong to capital A. This is called commutative property. Now, we have the next property, associative property. What is associative property? Associative property is you have to take say for example A comma B comma C belong to capital A. A star A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. If you take for, in, for instance star is an operation on N then that is a set of natural numbers 2 uh, and you take say for example plus is operation I am taking 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5 then it is going to be what you can verify 5 plus 5 10 and it is also equal to 8 plus 2 10 that means this is called plus is uh, associative plus is associative on set of natural numbers then after commutative and associativeness we have got identity property this is very important property one must understand. Please remember this property what exactly it exemplifies. Before I get on to the actual details of identity property I would be talking to you. First you tell me what shall be added to 2 you get uh, 2 back. Can you tell me? Then you say 0. Very good. Now you take uh, into multiplication operation on set of natural numbers that what shall be taken here so that you get 2 back. You will say 1. Now here dear children this 0 and 1 and are actually called identity elements. Identity elements under plus comma into respectively. That means this is on n. Whenever you perform plus operation and into operation on capital N, in order to verify the identity property, you need to take these two elements in the place of here, here to get back the element. Now, at large, what identity property basically explains? Identity property. Dear children, you go and stand before the mirror. What do you understand? You see your image. If you consider your action of going to the mirror is an operation, mirror is one object and yourself is an object, the internal part that is image is your own image. That means that is the output of what you have performed as such. So, identity property means you perform any operation between those two elements, the end result should be the same element which you chose first. So, here in this case, what I can write if star is a binary operation, binary operation on set A, then A star E is equal to A is equal to E star A, where E is now in that case, E is called identity element. It is called identity element. Identity element will always help us to get back the element with which it got operated through the star operation that is what binary operation. Now this is what identity property. Afterwards we have got inverse property. Well, dear students, what is inverse property? Now let us look at one small example. Supposing 2 is there and you have you are in you are intending to perform some operation by which you will be getting 0. Now what will be the number? Now say uh, plus is the operation I am taking. Now what shall be taken here so that you get 0 the answer? Immediately your answer will be minus 2. That means negative of the number that I have taken. Supposing that I take the same object but this time the into is the operation. Now you tell me what shall be taken here so that 1 will be the answer. You will say 1 by 2. Do you know this particular part you have already studied in class 6th itself, 6th and 7th perhaps. Now what these numbers are actually called? This is called additive identity, uh, sorry additive inverse, sorry, additive inverse and this is called multiplicative, multiplicative inverse. What is the end result? End result is E is equal to 0 that is identity element. 
here 1 it is also e is equal to 1 it is multiplicative identity element it is multiplicative identity element that means whenever you perform an operation with the inverse objects the end result is going to be called identity element of that particular respective operation now let me continue the inverse property what we are what we were talking say for example i took the uh, numerical examples now i would be taking a small example in general let a belongs to a and star is a binary operation binary operation on a then there exist an uh, sorry a unique element b belongs to a such that a star b is equal to e is equal to b star a then then b is called inverse element of a in capital a so this is what your inverse property Dear children, these two properties are very, very important from your examination perspective. If a problem comes for four marks, definitely they will be calling for uh, these two properties uh, in the problems. Well, let us, uh, let us take this problem and to explain you the four problems, sub, sub problems I have given you. There is a definition of the binary operation on the set of rational numbers a star b is equal to a b by 4. Now, I shall be verifying whether star is a commutative, associative, whether the element, anti element exists or inverse element also exists or not, we will be verifying. Now, first rule is commutativeness. So, how to verify, how to go about it? A star b should be equal to b star a. It implies a star b was defined to be a b by 4, which I can write as b a by 4 as well because into is the operation. So, a b by 4 will be equal to definitely b, b, b a by 4, it is true. Therefore, star is a commutative on Q. Now, I am coming for the second one, associativeness. What is associative property? For associative property, you are supposed to take three elements A, B, C uh, belonging to the set Q such that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. To verify with, I will take the left hand side, A star B is equal to A B by 4 star C that is equal to A B C by 4 into 4 16 which I would write A by 4 into B C by 4 that is A by 4, B C by 4 can be written as B star C. A by 4 into B star C is going to be A star B star C. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, therefore, star is associative, associative on Q. So, we have got associative as well. Now, let us come into identity element. What exactly it is going to be? So, here, let a belongs to Q. Assume that E belongs to Q is an identity element. So, what exactly it is going to be? I did to verify with the identity property, we have to verify a value for A and then going to be E. Whether E exists or not, we will verify. So, A star E is equal to, A is the rule, is equal to E star A. I will take this part to write with A star E as A E by 4 because of the definition is equal to A. The cross cancel E is equal to 4. Definitely it is a rational number. 4, 4 is a rational number. That means it exists. Therefore, star has identity element in Q. So, we have proved identity element. Now, we shall be proving the ident inverse property subject to the identity element. So, what is inverse, inverse property? Inverse property says that for every A belongs to Q, there exists some B 
belongs sorry uh, a b belongs to q such that such that a star b is equal to e is equal to b star a now i will be taking a star b what is a star b is equal to e then a b by 4 is equal to 4 since e was already got 4 in the previous step so a b is equal to 4 uh, sorry 16 then b is equal to 16 by a it is a rational number for a being rational number 16 by a is a rational number so it belongs to q therefore therefore star has inverse element inverse element in q so therefore star has all properties satisfied on q so dear children i in one problem uh, we have proved commutative associative identity and inverse of course i do tell you there is one more property called closure property which is not required to be proved here because in the problem itself he said that star is a binary operation when he says that star is a binary operation you need not prove again the closure property therefore this is what the end result you have to prove for a problem given in this pattern in the examination this problem is valid when 0 is not part of Q. That is why I have written here A is not equal to 0. Please remember A shall not be equal to 0 because if A is equal to 0 then this element does not exist in Q. So ensure that A, you are taking an element which is non-zero that is A is a non-zero element. Thank you.